Let's face it, the modern developer workflow is heavy. It's weighted down by context switching, endless tab shuffling, and the friction of managing a dozen different tools just to ship a single feature. We have been fighting this gravity for too long. It changes now. I recently got access to this amazing product by Google team. It's called Anti-Gravity. Let me show you. This is going to be very raw feedback. I'm just going to go through the tool and uh, work on it with you. Let's see how it goes. So when you go to the, uh, when you open the app, you generally have sign in and stuff like that. But once you go past that, you get to this agent manager page. I love this page because it allows you to see across different products, projects, uh, what are you working on? What are your different agents are working on? You can look at this inbox where it will give you um, what conversations that are happening with your agents. And let's actually get started on this. Right now, I have this test anti-gravity project. I'm just going to start a conversation in here. Let's go in here. Uh, not in Playground. I'm looking for test anti-gravity. And uh, one of the apps that I love uh, is this thing called Excalidraw. And today, we're going to just make a sample of that. So let's just ask it here. Uh, could you build something like X Cali draw for me? And I'm just giving very basic thing in here. And as you can see, there's Gemini 3 Pro preview in here as well. Uh, you can go with older model versions as well, but I love that I have access to 3.5 Pro or 3 Pro, not 3.5. <laughs> uh, but here we go. Uh, it's starting the process now. This is I'm conversing and talking to an agent right now. But if you wanted to, you can go in and look at the editor as well. So let's look at this editor. Here's the editor. Uh, it has test and gravity. The conversation is happening on the right hand side. I do like it, but I wish uh, I didn't have to even come to this editor mode. But it's great if you want to come back here and take a look at uh, what are the conversations that are going on. We switch back to agent manager. So it's right now starting some. Um, work in here trying to figure out what should it be doing it's looking at uh, oh here we go so this i love this feature where it from the conversation oh, oh i don't know what happened here let's see do i have the tasks in here terminal open editor oh it took some time it created an implementation plan where's the task oh here we go we have task so i love this feature for the tasks and dismiss that uh, I love this feature for tasks because it tells me exactly what it's uh, thinking about and working on. And you can see it's now started on the initializing the project, uh, setting up different things, and these are all the things that we're going to go through. Uh, I also have this ability to update in here directly. So you can come in here, comment on this, for input handling. This is actually fine. I don't think I care about this. White widget is also fine. But if I had something else in here, I could uh, talk about in here shape storage. Let's see. what what the thing that we would like to focus upon rectangle tool is actually good rather than ellipse tool uh, let's actually add it in here rectangle and i want a rectangle and uh, a cylinder for showing database so i just gave it a feedback uh, this essentially works like how a normal developer workflow would work where you think of this agent is something that's running in the background for you and you can just uh, pass all of your feedback in here you review the feedback you submit it based upon that the agent kicks in and starts looking at the feedback that you just provided to generate a new plan so let's go back to the implementation plan here here's the implementation plan that it generated um, to build the xcali draw it's setting the project structure in here it's going to set up the data structure you can see the verification plan as well on how it is going to verify this uh, it's going to run npm run dev to verify that it's working. Um, it's adding some review for user that it's going to be using this. Uh, and you can again like come back in here and give it more comments to guide its behavior on how it should be working. So right here, if I didn't want to use white, I could just tell it to use uh, React or something else. Uh, if I wanted it to use, let's go back in here actually to, to do. I want it to use basic HTML CSS structure. Let's add one more thing in here. I want you to use tailwind i think that's the library called tailwind css as well so i add that comment uh, again another review that i added in here it's gonna cause it to again uh, as soon as i add uh, so here as soon as i give a comment it starts to rethink in here about the scaffolding and stuff uh, it regenerates the tasks 
So let's see. Yeah, right here. You can see it, based upon my previous feedback, it generated this task implementation and added a cylinder tool as well. I just gave it a new one in here to use uh, tail scale or tailwind. Uh, tail scale is amazing, by the way, <laughs> but tailwind in here as well. So it's gonna update this uh, task as well. Let's see. It's I love this thinking portion in here. I think that's coming because of the new model. But uh, with that, it gives better answers. So let's see. It updated the tasks. Oh, here we go. It set set up tailwind CSS as well. So you can see in real time, you can control how the uh, editor experience is going, how the agent is experiencing and building your product, uh, and you can control on the implementation plan more finer details uh, of how it's going and working on things. So I love this, but now the <laughs> this is already better than existing tools that are out there. Uh, I don't have to go and look at the code yet. Uh, you could go take a look at the code, but I don't. I love to not look at the code until things are ready. Uh, and get into a working stage. So I could go and open the editor. You can see it's setting up the project. Uh, it's like got the CSRC in here. We got node modules installed in here. It had the git ignore, uh, and it's setting up the project and installing all the dependencies and everything else that it needs to do. So this is good, but uh, one of the things that I do love about this uh, editor now is the ability to open a preview in here. So once you do it first time, this is a installation that the team does on your local machine. This is a, not my Chrome browser. This is, uh, actually I don't know if it is my Chrome browser, but let's see. Yeah, so this is not my Chrome because I have multiple profiles on my Chrome. So this is a new Chrome installation that they did with their app, uh, with the uh, app and allows me to log in in here and install the extension. So when you go to install the extension, it talks you, get, takes you through the uh, web store. Right now 136 users in here uh, and I have already installed the extension. So the extension is available here. What this extension allows it to do is it allows it to run the test within the browser. So whenever the code is ready to, for it to start testing out, it will be able to go and test these things in the browser. That's actually, I want it to start giving some of these things as soon as it's ready. So I wanna say in here is add a comment, uh, not the whole thing, but uh, actually yeah, let's do this whole thing. Before this section, I would love to see the app in action in the browser so that we can see how the changes are affecting the view. Let's see. Um, so I just added another one, <laughs> so it's gonna again come in, in here as the agent is in the background was trying to write the code. Uh, I again made it kind of stop and go back and look at the plan again and review the plan. So it's gonna, it's initiated the stuff in here, it's, it was on code engine. And of course, as I said, like uh, you can always go back. Oh, I have not committed this, so let me submit this. That's one of the features that I gave the team feedback on as well. Like as soon as I give a comment, just get started on that. Don't wait for me to complete the review. Though I do like it because it's like how a uh, normal dev workflow works where you go to GitHub and give PR reviews and stuff like that. But I guess that's the reason <laughs> I talked about this as well. The reason that that workflow exists is because our counterparts are human right now and we don't want to overload them with all the granular feedback that we get. So it would be amazing if they, it is amazing in this case where we have agents, where we don't have to worry about giving it a lot of feedback and the agent should be smart enough to say, capture the feedback, figure out when does it want to uh, rerun the planning part, when does it want to continue and not look at the feedback anymore. Um, and yeah, all of that will be, I hope that it gets to a point where I don't have to worry about submitting it and as in line, as continuous the flow can be, I would love for it to get there. But yeah, uh, use the browser, so here we go. So it wants to use the browser, I'm gonna allow it to set it up, install the extension, we went through that, it is available, it is installed. So I think at this point, uh, Gemini takes kicks in. I think it's checking in that I already have the browser installed. I think that's what it's doing, but I'm not sure. sure. Oh, here we go. Agent running, controls are disabled. Uh, I do love that actually. So let me move this out of the way. Agent needs my input. Okay, let's go to the place where agent needs my input. Return to the agent, this button is not working, so let's go back in here. Here we go, uh, agents need permission to act on localhost, always allow. So 
now it's gonna try to open in here okay so right here so agent is now connected to this browser and it's trying to install and run all things right here so you see in the background it created a very basic uh, web page but it didn't work properly because I think this Tailwind CSS is not working <laughs> this is the one part about front-end development that first of all I'm not a front-end development uh, developer but one of the things that I don't miss about doing any front-end work is these kind of uh, configurations so it's like now trying to figure that out but this is amazing look at this this agent is right now controlling my whole screen and trying to figure out how things work not only it allows me to not worry about and the agent going in just one direction and coming back later to find out what went wrong it can uh, use all of that to fix itself as well as well as I am getting a lot of feedback on how it's working how it's behaving and I can close cut correct it at any time as I want and as I said editor very last thing that I will come back here I do love looking at the agent manager and letting it run and do the task so it is right now here let's see it's still active uh, I wish there was like the feedback was more in here where it told me that it was doing something else um, I don't have any more feedback in here let it go yeah it's working fine uh, one of the things I've noticed is the model right now is slow but I think that's because the model is in preview and it's not available to the public uh, today it has been actually working pretty fast but in the past uh, when I originally tried it was kind of slow uh, slow to get started but after that the <laughs> token per second count is pretty fast the first token response was slow let's see where the app is uh, I think it might have gotten into a bad state where it's uh, stuck because uh, I don't know what's going on here but yeah anyway go back going back to here let's see did it, is it actually working on this it seems to be working on all of those I don't know what's going on here Oh well, <laughs> again, models are uh, the tool is as good as the models, and it seems like there's some connection, something got, lo got lost. But yeah, here we have uh, anti gravity package, uh, works the same way as you would be familiar with if you're using cursor or any other tools. You can come in here, let me just move it out of the way. You can come in here and make your own changes, more changes that you want to do, start a new session. So let's go back in here, let's see, style.css. Uh, let's try to help it out um, I'm going to come on option I look at the console and reload the page just give it this whole error let's help our agent out it's running into an issue um, here we go so we're just going to tell it that, that there's an error happening let's see what it does okay I setting the root cause found the issue with in tailwind post CSS and white uh, it's going to look at the project edited the task so let's go take a look at the tasks okay he it edited the whole thing in here i wonder if we have the original task list. so the original task list is still there so it's creating a new task list based upon any issues that i'm giving it in the conversation so that's nice because i could be working on multiple things at the same time uh, this one seems to be stuck but hopefully it you know, resumes auto resumes but at the same time i can keep working on other things that i am uh, I'm seeing and I want it to work on so editing the task it updated verify the fix how will it I verify the fix let's see it's running now works creating a walkthrough and notifying the user editing the task created the walkthrough so I do like this walkthrough but I wish it didn't have to do this because this is the how did it fix the part and it is very useful for me to learn these things but sometimes I just want things to work so let's see is that this work now nope so there's no point in giving me this feedback until it's ready um, but yeah it is working this video is less about us creating a, a working clone but more about testing the anti-gravity and it is working great um, it got most of the things in here it set up a simple counter one let's see if the counter example works uh, doesn't look like it but that's okay uh, okay so as I already mentioned uh, oh we have two conversations going on so you can come back here and look at uh, what are the things that are going on in specific folders when it needs notifications it gives us in here here we go pending okay it fixed resolved another issue let's see if it actually got fixed <laughs> okay I'm gonna give up on that uh, we're gonna come back and look at the agent in here so I love how it has all of these things and uh, I can easily connect the terminal in here as well this is something that exists on other uh, others as well so we're not gonna look at that as much 
uh, open editor as you saw that yeah so this is anti-gravity give it a try let me know uh, hopefully this video will get released soon and you will have access to all of these things and try it on out on your projects I originally tried it on a Python project which was not uh, which was not UI at all uh, so it's very interesting to see how it works in the UI and how it uh, took control of the browser but it seems like it did lose the control I'm sure team is working on all of these feedback and all of these uh, issues that we are running into and hopefully they get solved by the release so give it a try let me know how it goes and what would you like to see in a new experience on building things as a developer i would love to know about your experience as well but yeah give it a try thank you